Hi guys, um, I'm going to show you this amazing discovery that I made today in my house that shows um, Poland and the area around the southeast of the Baltic and Central Europe that dates from about 1920 or sometime around the early 20th century. This was believed to be owned by my father's adopted father who served in the Second World War, although um, this is definitely not something that he would have taken to the army, obviously. This is rather large, but this is actually probably just a souvenir that he must have picked up somewhere. But I, um, I'll show you, it's got all the details here about the um, relief of the land, how high it is, the major settlements and the population. And I don't actually know any Polish at all. Um, see how my light does, but I don't know what these other signs mean. Um, but I, if there's maybe a s Polish person watching this, you could maybe translate, but... What I really like about this map is it doesn't really have Poland's um, current borders. In fact, it doesn't really have any borders at all. It just shows you everything in a geographical standpoint. As you can see, all the big towns there, like um, Krakow uh, down here, and uh, Prague over here. Obviously, it's not a Polish city, but yeah. Gdansk up on the north on the Baltic coast, and uh, obviously the capital Warsaw here and uh, Lithuania over there, and what is now Belarus and Ukraine down here, and the big sweep of the Carpathian Mountains. So, yeah, this is a really, really awesome map, and it's a good treasure to find. Basically what happened is my father doesn't live in my mum's house anymore, so he's getting rid of all his belongings, and this was just found in the back of a storage uh, space. Um, in the loft in my house, and yeah, I thought it was an amazing discovery, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Okay, see you later.